What's going on, everybody? Happy Monday for most of us. Uh, well, I should say most. Some of us out there, we have Monday off due to being a federal holiday. Got a little bit of news out there. Thank you, first off, to Sports Car Radio. Gave me a shout out in your video yesterday. Uh, left a little lengthy comment. Sorry, got a little worded on the stuff out there on a Midwest Monster show that took place up in Fishers, Indiana, or Indianapolis, Indiana, however you want to word it up there. All right, guys, today, three topics for hobby news. First one is going to be top eBay trading card sell sellers measure volume into millions. Really interesting because DC Sports is not on top four in this article, which surprises me because of their ranking on eBay overall. Uh, then we're going to move into, I got to go back in time here, an article that was posted on Instagram from uh, Card Porn. Basically, there's a person that's uh, able to get over on eBay's own authentication program. I'm going to explain to you what's going on with that and how people are finding these workarounds on this stuff. And crazy what's being done, and they took it more to a different level than, wow, than what I, I would even think of was going to go on. And finally, I'm going to link you guys to a video that was shared to me by Charles. Uh, it's CSG grade, grade School, How Graders Grade Your Cards. Very, very interesting stuff. I'll put the link to that video down here. It's only 2 minutes and 27 seconds long, so you guys can check that out as well. All right, let's move on to the first one here. There we go. Sports Collectors Daily brings this article to us. It talks about top eBay trading card sellers measure volume in the millions, right? Com C. Okay, got it. I mean, they are really big with the whole thing of putting it on eBay, getting but they take a good chunk out too. Um Greg Morris Cards, which has been on been selling on eBay since 2002, is also strictly a consignment business that sold 5.7 million in that time, and over 785,000 cards over the last 12 months. To be honest, I never heard of Greg Morris Cards before. So a little bit different there. They're a California-based company. Uh, there it is by auction on eBay, all on consignment. Burbank Sports Cards is on this. I was not surprised by this one because I kind of figured. They would be on it. They do have a large volume. They do a lot of business on there. You guys can see currently has over 2.7 million cards listed on eBay. My gosh, you know how long it has to take to do that? How, what the team you have to put together for that? Insane. Finally, Rob Steam. So I was really shocked on this because I thought I'd see DC Sports 87 on here because that's who I use for consignment. Quick payouts. If I need to get in touch with somebody, it gets answered quickly. Never, ever had an issue with them at all on this stuff with listings. If something got posted wrong, I needed it fixed. I put it up there. They'll either take it down, restart it, or if they're able to fix it without restarting the auction, they do it. And they offer phenomenal service on too. Plus, I could reach half their people on uh, Facebook Messenger if I really had a big emergency. But really surprised. Really surprised. Again, link will be in the article below onto this if you guys want to look over it. I just was shocked. I figured DC would have been on this as one of the top four. All right, moving on. Prob uh, Probsty, wow, card porn, card porn. Uh, this is their Instagram account. It talks, I guess that's who posted Philly Sports Authenticators. This person is selling all fake PSA. Oh, no, that's who they were using. Fake PSA cards on eBay. Buyer beware, please report. I don't know, I didn't really look into this, but th this is the piece that it's getting it on. It says, seems like scammers are always one stop ahead. And it's, I'm reading this right off of Card Porn's Instagram site. Um, this time it's eBay's own authentication program. As it turns out, this program does not cover group lots, so scammy sellers like this one have been putting fake slab lots together. I thought when I seen this, like what they were trying to say is like, I sell four PSA cards together all over, I think it's $600 uh, min or uh, where it starts at level. So say I just bulk deal somebody like $5,000 in cards and they're all over, say, five cards at $1,000. It skips it because the eBay authentication system doesn't do the group lots. It only does individual cards. So that was my take when I first heard about this and until I had a chance to look at this. Here, they're grouped together with fake slabs. 
totally different thing on to it. Um, wow. I guess uh, they contacted their eBay rep about it, and hopefully something's done about that soon. I mean, I kind of got it that if you're going to group stuff together, and here's my key issue with it, right? And I think this is why they can't do the group things. So say I buy... I'm going to use DC Sports again, just because they're my consignment people. Free, free publicity shot for them. <laughs> I buy three PSA graded cards, so I'm worth $1,000 a piece. And then say I buy five $1,000 raw cards. So he packages them all up in one package. The issue being is PSA is only handling the slab cards while the raw cards are going, I believe it's the CSG. So I think that's why when you start doing lots, it, it makes it more confusing to the computer and it can't separate them to where you have to split the order, branch them apart. Instead, it's just like, hey, you know, override, just ship it straight to the person. I mean, that, that's my only thought on why it would do that. Other than that, I mean, I've had a couple have to go through it. I've had no issue, thankfully. Um, all my stuff was recently graded by PSA. It sold for the limit. It had to go go through that authentication part of it all. Even one of the sellers reached out to me. He's like, dude, I thought it was going to take like a month to get this card. Now, it was surprised. And I believe the guy lived in like Arizona or uh, Nevada, one of the two. Card went to PSA. Um, well, I can just tell by the address. We all know it's PSA. They looked at it, I think, within 24, 48 hours of being there and popped it right back out in the mail. And he got like two days later. I mean, the whole thing might have taken like, I'm going to say a week to week and a half tops. So it really, really wasn't too bad of a thing across the world. I'm going to say about a week and a half. So not too bad, though. But again, I'll put the link to this article on Instagram from Card Porn if you guys want to look into it. Uh, I wasn't really aware that, you know, that if you bought multiple items in a group lot, that eBay was not going to split them. And the ones that qualified for... The authentic, or uh, yeah, the authentication program would get shipped there. It's not. I guess it just bypasses. So it'll be quite interesting to see how PSA turns around and handles this completely. Okay, last thing, last thing. CSG grade school. How graders grade your cards? Two minute twenty seven second video. I'm not going to talk much about the video because I just wanted you guys to see it. It's kind of amazing. There's no computer AI. This guy's using a, as you can kind of see here, um, a ruler going across there to measure out for centering. And then they plug in the numbers and get their stuff. When you look at a light source, it's pretty much what I do. You get your overhead light, hold the card up there, wiggle around, look for surface, you know, things across the board onto it. Um, corners, he uses a loop. I can't remember what they used for edges. It might have been a loop, too. But overall, it was not bad. Not bad of all video. It was short, to the point. Uh, I know not all grading companies are the same onto this stuff. So, you guys know <laughs> offhand, some of them use computer AI, some don't. Or whatever they're calling computer intelligence out there. But this is just kind of unique because you get to see what they're talking about, what they do across the board, how they figure out the centering real quick. He gives an explanation on to it. Like I said, it's only 2 minutes, 27 seconds. Not bad video at all. But all right, everybody, that's pretty much all I got in the news for right now, for today. Uh, probably back later this week, if not uh, Friday night, overtime, live. Uh, I'll see if Cora, Joey, or see if anybody else wants to pop on live during it with us. If any of you guys out there want to pop on for a while uh, to talk, you can. Whether you want to stay 10 minutes, 30 minutes, whole thing, up to you guys on to that. But we'll do overtime Friday night because I don't have another card show to where I set up till the 22nd of the month. And then I only got one more after that. So uh, like the second week of November that I'm out for the rest of the year. But, uh... All right, guys, appreciate you guys watching the video. Don't forget, hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. Other than that, catch y'all next video.